Welcome guys! Today I am doing my everyday makeup routine. But not every day because I rarely ever wear makeup. Like say if I was going to town for food with my friends. This is the makeup that I'd wear. I usually start off with, I don't know, should I wear foundation? I'll wear foundation. I usually start off with a bit of concealer. This is what I use, Revolution Conceal and Define Shade C5. At the minute, I am really tanned uh, because we've had some good weather. Not today though, bloody uh, Antarctic weather today. Under the eyes, because I have the world's darkest circles. <laughs> Yay, we love that for me. I'm literally not even doing anything today. Oh no, yes I am, I'm going to work. Um, so I guess this is an excuse. They're gonna be like, oh, whoa, Sonia. Look at me now. I'm a new bitch. And blend it in. Foundation. I usually mix shades when I'm not tanned. So I get the Bourjois Healthy Mix. I love how this smells. Shade 52 Vanilla. Ooh. And then the NARS Sheer Glow in Barcelona. Usually just plop a bit. So I just put splodges on my face. Usually a bit more. And then so this one. Usually I put less of NARS on my face because it is really dark. Only for nights out I usually put on loads of foundation. Like I like more of a BB cream kind of finish for day to day. Now I get powder. Um, this is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. What is this little round circle? Mm -hmm and put a bit of um, this shade, mix with this shade, mix with this shade under my eyes. I have another proper uh, powder brush that I use for my under eyes, but I've left it over there in my cupboard um, and I can't really be bothered to get it. So we have to improvise today. And then we like to set these areas. I am going really quick because A, I don't have a lot of storage on my phone to film this and b i have to go to work so we're just winging it what is this little circle why are you on my face can you see that i can see it mm. is that for me what do i do now i do my eyebrows i use the collection eyebrow kit in blonde i mean it says it's for blonde and i literally use this like brown shade and i just fill in my eyebrows like this oh no powders broke off my eyebrow gel now it's the same one from the little collection kit it just goes there um and i just brush them through to keep them nice and in shape uh i mean there's not much to keep in shape but i don't know what i'm on about kind of low-key try to make them fluffy however i don't suit fluffy eyebrows because I'm just not that bougie. Me literally just looks like it's taken off the product, which it probably has. Next, I move on to eyeshadow. Naked Basics. No, Urban Decay Naked 2. Not Basics. I get the shade Suspect. My favourite. Put that all over my lid. And then I get... Oh, which one do I get? Sometimes I get Snake Bite. Or sometimes I get WKD. WKG, yeah, no, we ain't drinking today, Sonia. I get y YGK um, and put that in the crease. So I just literally use my finger, this one. Tap it on. The thing is, though, I say this is my everyday for like a drink or like a meal, but I always went to a night out. I try to make, I try to make my makeup different for every event. But every single time, my makeup just goes the same. I think it's because I use brown eyeshadows. So it's just bound to look the same because brown goes brown. So I'm gonna get a bit of snake bite and put, I'm just using the brush it comes with. I'm putting it through my crease like this. Nothing too adventurous or extreme. We'll take a bit underneath. Here we go. Look, I love how you can still see my dark circles through my concealer and that smidge of foundation. 
outrageous and I just clean it up just so that it's at the shape of my eye this looks different why does it look different I don't know maybe I don't usually use snake bite maybe I do then I get a little brush um for my inner corner I get this revolution ultra brush palette in golden sugar then I get this highlighter dip it in my little brush put it in the inner corner just to highlight I feel like this really changes the whole entire look under my eyebrow gotta make them brows pop I need to dye my eyebrows they're a bit light some on the nose I need to put some more concealer on into spots here we are I'll let that set for a minute now I'm going to curl my eyelashes I feel like if I didn't cut my eyelashes, I'd literally be a crackhead. No, I just wouldn't. Um, yeah, like look at the difference. I have camel eyelashes. They're just so, sh not short, they're really long actually. But they just have no curl. They just go straight down. Right, there we go, nice and curled. And then I get two mascaras. So I get this one. I really like dried up mascaras because I just do. I don't like wet mascaras because I feel like wet mascaras make your eyelashes really clumpy. And these, look at that. Oh, whoa! That makes a big difference, doesn't it? Wow! Oh my god! Clearly, locked arms like made me feel so different because I've not worn makeup. <laughs> I love that for me. I love that for me. How am I getting it off? Ah, no. Beautiful. Ugh. Stupid face. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember anymore. I was literally been waffling. Pure wet. And then this one. This one's more wet because it's more new. Wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Makes me a brand new person. I'm joking, I probably look exactly the same. Oh, may have gone a bit too underneath. Wow, look at my eyeballs. Right, now I'm going to blend in that concealer that I let to okay, set. Now we do contour. Or bronzing I don't know what you call it so I'm getting this fluffy brush same palette I get this and this shade and then take it in this area oh, I need a bit more this is my favorite part I feel like I am pro at contour I'm joking like I'm not a makeup artist am I rightio Take it off on the temples and on the forehead. Basically, I've just made my forehead brow because I put a bit too much on. Underneath here, on the jaw. Then I get a smaller, more um, concentrated brush and use the same shades just to really define it out. There we go. That is nice. And then just a bit more up into the temples and into my hair. You cannot forget the nose. There we go, two little lines. I just pinched the brush just to make it. Oh, I'm gonna put some powder down my nose. Just on my finger, the yellow shade because I didn't conceal it well enough. You can see my redness. Why have I lost my sponge again? Honestly, that thing just literally goes, vanishes. Oh, it's behind it. <laughs> Silly me. Then I just line it out a bit. And this region as well, just to clean it up. And that is that. And then I just get this and just blend it a bit more just to make it less harsh where I just lined it. And look at that. Oh my God. Uh, Revolution palette. 
I take, oh, beautiful, gonna be glowing. Um, I take that white shade that I put in my inner corner. I usually dab it in this one, the champagne and the rose, and then just pop it on the, uh, the cheekbone. And dab the nose again, but only a little bit of the nose this time. And I put it on my nose, and I think we're just keeping it a bit subtle, more subtle today because I am only going to work, um, and I just thought I'd film this, and we are quarantining. So, anyways, last last step of the day, we get lip gloss. Uh, I usually just chuck on whatever is available. Um, at the moment, loving this essence shiny lip gloss smells amazing it does i really like the uh applicator on it it's really like spongy and soft i literally just oh i think i need a lip shade no i don't it will do and there we are look at me i'm a new woman and that is my makeup and I'm ready to go somewhere. But I hope you liked it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you liked me getting ready with doing my makeup. And you know, you know what to do. Follow me on Instagram. I will probably be going and taking some Instagrams right now because I'm not putting this makeup to waste. Are you joking me? Who would do that? Uh, okay. Anyways, peace out, bitches.